So I'm here tonight with an organisation called Sporting Champions and they are running a Sportivate program which is a series of six wheelchair basketball lessons. Now Sporting Champions is an organisation funded by Sport England and we've been kindly asked here by Active Sussex to come and give a bit of a disability sport masterclass and what I'm doing is using my experience as an elite athlete. I'm actually a wheelchair rugby player masquerading as a basketball player this evening but the idea is to encourage young people to get more involved in sport and all kinds of sport. We, we managed to get um, some, some funding from uh, Sport of Eight through Sport England. Um, they're, they're funding a lot of projects like this. Our message at Sporting Champions is, you know, we're using those catchphrases from 2012 of inspire a generation and raising aspirations. So they're all good positive things about getting people more active and more involved in their communities. Because obviously we all know that sport doesn't just stop when you step off the court. We know it's a lifestyle. We know there's all sorts of social benefits, educational benefits, learning benefits. We know the kind of lessons that sport can teach. As I've um, got experience in basketball from playing it at school, I, I mainly come down and, and help it um, and kind of help the other people uh, take part and uh, make sure they're having fun. It's fairly mixed, which is the way we like it really, because part of it is, is a social thing, um, yeah, helping them understand each other's uh, disabilities and things. So, some of the children we have don't have a disability at all, some of the children we have have learning difficulties, um, whereas on, on the other side we have children who don't have any learning disability at all, um, but they're, they're, they either have cerebral palsy or they're, yeah, they're, they're unable to uh, move themselves around. They have um, yeah, usually a carer with them, so it, it, yeah, very much like we're, we adapt. We like adapting. It's, it's, it, I've, yeah, I've been doing this job eight years. It's, it's something you have to learn to, to do a certain amount. Uh, we just do warm-ups, games, like mini-games, and we just play a big game. I find them really interesting and also fun to play basketball. I hardly get to play it anywhere else. I went to a, a special needs uh, school that um, uh, had a very good sports programme. They did basketball, athletics, archery, swimming, um, and um, my interest in sport kind of stemmed from there. If you, if you focus what you want to do, you can do it. Until you've met somebody like Andy, you don't, you don't realise quite, quite how much we can be we can we can achieve with with setbacks. I, I take a tremendous amount of satisfaction from giving back. As an athlete, I am a retired athlete now, but as an athlete, one of the key facets of that was always giving back. Not only have I had one fantastic job in being a full-time athlete, I now have another in engaging young people in sport, and, and that really is a fantastic honour for me.